All right, guys, I'm finally ready to upgrade the studio. That was terrible, but I'm going to keep going. If you're a frequent YouTuber, then you know there are really just three elements between. If you're a frequent YouTuber, then you know there are really just three ele elements. What? I have a new product here today that's finally going to help me upgrade the studio. Stay tuned for more. If you're the type of person that watches a lot of YouTube videos, then you're going to notice that it's really three things that make all the difference between a good video and a bad video. Those elements are audio, video, and lighting. Today we're going to take our lighting to the next level. Alright, so I got a new package from Amazon today. Can't wait to open it. It's really just going to take things to the next level. So I had one of these before, but it was from a different brand. And when I received the package from the mail, it was a large slit in it. One of the bulbs were broken. And it was really just a bad customer experience. So I won't name them because that might have just been a one-off experience. I ordered a new one from a different company. It was actually an Amazon Lightning deal. I got it for $35, which is phenomenal because this thing costs significantly more than that. The product that I'm reviewing today is the newer Photography Light Studio set. And now for the unboxing. All right. This bad boy is gonna take us to the next level. As you can see from the jump, Nice, large logo in the front. I love it. Even on this cardboard box, when you get stuff like this in the mail, you know, this is a company that's really, you know, taking their customers seriously. I also have my handy dandy unboxing knife, and here we go. All right, crack this bad boy open. This is a really secure box, so hopefully, my product isn't damaged this time. Come on, newer, don't let me down. Oh, man. Oh, God. You've got to see this. I'm going to flip this over. You guys got to see this. Now, tell me if this isn't a clean unboxing experience. Look at that. That's the bag that's going to hold the lights, a carrying case, if I want to move from place to place. So, already. Already. Look at this. We got the duffel bag <laughs> for the lights. Again with the logo. Right here. Nice and clean. What more could you ask for? Now, I, I have the boxes still from the old lighting set that I got. I'm going to show you what I got. <clears throat> they sent it to me in a regular cardboard box. No logo, large slit down the side, maybe some bubble wrap, I'm not sure. And then everything was like in these little white boxes. Terrible. Now look at this. Cheaper, more efficient, easier to carry around, a nicer look. I'm satisfied. But not until I see the light quality. So let's open this bad boy up. Again, like I said, you've got the duffel handles that'll just make everything really easy to carry around and convenient. So, we're gonna open this bad boy up. Woo! You hear that zipper sound? Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Uh, uh, it's one of the best sounds in the world. Unboxing something with a nice zipper so you know it's going to keep the elements out. Flip the top. This is a work of art. Hold on, how do I do this without it falling over? Flip the top and this is what you see. Perfectly organized. Guys, I don't think you understand. This company is already gone beyond and above. This is totally worth purchasing their product. Look at this. Neatly packaged. All right, we do get the boxes back, the white boxes that look terrible, but they're okay here because they're neatly organized and 
Let's dive in. So I'm going to go with this because this is just calling my name. I'm assuming this is the light bulbs and it has a nice case again with the logo, a nice handle on the side so you can carry it. Nothing on the other side, but it looks like a pretty good carrying case. Nice zipper, and then here we are with the boxes again. There are three of them in here, two and the one I just pulled out. So I'm gonna open one of them up and move this to the side. And as you can see, look at that. Tape around it so it doesn't fall out when you just pull it out. So that's awesome. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's, there we go. See that band of tape right there? Ingenious. I really want to get into this piece by piece. I'm going to dissect this right now. Product placement. Bam. Let's slice this open. Not that we need to. I mean, it's foam. Look at that. Open it up. The bulb's right there. Easy peasy. Now this is a 45 watt, 110 volt, 5,500K um, newer bulb for photography. These things cost on Amazon roughly around 11 to $15. So if you break one of these and you're gonna feel the hurt eventually after you break enough. So I'm gonna put this back and this is just lovely because I can always put this back in here and carry it around. Like, only thing I have to throw away from this whole set is the box that it originally came in, this cardboard box. That's it. Everything else goes in the case and it's to keep me organized and safe from breakage. So. <sighs> Sorry. Hello. Back to the bit. All right, so I'm gonna put this away and let's move on to the next part of this package. And we'll break everything down and then we'll set it up so you can see the difference from my current light um, and the one we're gonna switch to. So the next thing we have are these three small boxes. Um, and I'm gonna take a guess to see what's in here and I think it's gonna be the socket heads for any light stands. Then I'm gonna allow you to plug that bulb in and yes that's exactly what it is again it comes in a box a little plastic wrapping and then look you have the socket head and it articulates so you can really position it any angle you want you have a hole here for an umbrella so it'll really clamp that umbrella and allow you to reflect light off. So you get a little softer feel to the light, which is better for video, videography. And lastly, you have the, what do you call it? <laughs> Let's just say, lastly, you have the space where you can put the, the light stand and attach it securely. So you get to go, easy plug in, a nice little power socket to plug it into the wall or a surge protector if you want to keep everything in the same power source and don't have wires coming all over the place. So I'm going to put this back. The other two boxes are exactly the same. This is a three light kit. Um, two larger lights to beam the light down and then one backlight for either the ground or a hair light for above. So put these away. This kit actually comes with two umbrellas. And they're the kind that have a nice black material on the outside. And on the inside, they have a reflective silver material, which is great for, you know, bouncing that light off this umbrella and onto your face and onto your body so that you can get a really clear picture. So my last set, it was just a white umbrella and that reflected some light. It really wasn't that bad, but I imagine that this will be like way better. Again, it comes with the plastic so you can neatly organize it. And there are two. So the third light doesn't have an umbrella, but the third light doesn't need an umbrella. 
These two are again really just to shine down from the different angles. So you, you got your key light, you have your fill light, and then you have either your hair light or one on the ground. Alright, now this one, I'm actually not sure what it is. Maybe it's the small tripod for that back or hair light. Oh yeah, I'm on fire today. Look at this. This is the small tripod. It comes like this. And of course, you can spread the legs. <laughs> That's what she said. Or he, no sexism. Um, of course, you can control the tightness of the legs right here. With this switch, you just turn it right to left or left to right. And now we can extend it further even, let's see, oh, <laughs> I broke it. So you're all set up, it's on the ground behind you or somehow you attach it above you with just a socket or something and then you just put the socket head on the top here and if you need to extend it further, it has this clamp here that you can undo and just pull it out that much further. So that gives you that extra height, that variability, so wherever you're at, you'll be able to get a perfect lighting scenario. So, we're getting closer to the part where I actually demonstrate the lights and how they help to set the scene for your YouTube video, or maybe if you're doing photography. There are really like a lot of use cases for these lights. And again, for $35, it's a steal. Especially getting it from Newer, which is a known brand, um, widely in the filming, YouTube, photography, community. New is the way to go. So lastly, in this kit, in my bag of goodies, I have these two boxes, which have to be the larger light stands. And let's open them up. Open it everything up. Look at a lot of tape on this. Which is good for somebody who doesn't have to unbox them. This is the taller one. Much like the smaller light stand, this one has the same three legs that are supported with these extra braces right here. You have the same knob that you can use to loosen the legs and tighten them back up so that they stay in position and you don't have shaky lights. The only real difference between the smaller light stand and the taller one is that one, Obviously, the legs are big. Um, also, instead of having one switch up here where you can extend the pole, like so. Wow, that goes pretty far. <laughs> it also has a second clip that extends it even further. So, wow, I can't even like get this thing into my shop. That's how big this light stand is. So, look at this. It barely, okay, it can barely like <laughs> stand up in my studio. So this has got you covered. I'm really glad that I returned my other set because now I have like this premium light stand that I can use for years that's really going to get me where I need to go for cheaper than I ever would have imagined. So let's get it set up. So I'll see you guys shortly and you can see the difference. Um, if you take in the light right now you can see that it's a little dark, it's not as bright as like daylight. This is like common room light. Um, yeah, common room light. I actually have six recessed lights in here. So that's what's giving you the light that we have. Without those six, it will be completely dark. There are no windows in here. Um, and so that's what you're seeing. I'm going to put up the newer lights and then I'm also going to cut these lights off just to give you a clearer picture of, you know, the kind of light that you can get. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm ready to show you how these lights compare to my old lights. Again, these are my regular lights. Shouldn't be using them for recording, so I got these newer lights, and let's see how they do. Alexa, turn cave lights off. Okay. So as you can see, guys, it's perfectly black. You guys can't see anything. I'm gonna turn on my key light. Oh yeah, look at that. So there's one light. You can already see the difference from this pitch black room. Now I'm gonna turn on my fill light. 
What do you guys think? That's only two lights. I didn't even bother to set up the third light because I figured that this would be enough and I'm feeling it. I can see the light bouncing off, reflecting off. The umbrellas, perfectly, I feel it. You can see everything clearly. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you can see you know, any shadows that you feel like that third light may eliminate. But other than that, this is a good buy. I would suggest you go on Amazon. I suggest you go to Newer. And that if you need some studio lights, if you're looking to do photography, videography, YouTube films, whatever, these are the lights. So if you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you can be notified when the next videos come out and stay up to date with all the latest and greatest tech. That's my time. It's King Khaled. See you next time. Hadouken! These lights are awesome.